I'm Miss Opidogos. I'm reading in class 9. Now I'm going to present a preparation on Swami Vivekananda at the Advanced Parliament of Religious Chicago. Response to welcome on 11 September 1893. Sisters and brothers of America, it fills my heart with John Spiegel to write in response to the poem and cordial welcome which you have given us. I thank you in the name of the most ancient order of monks in the world. I thank you in the name of the mother of religions. And I thank you in the name of millions and millions of Hindu people of all classes and sects. My thanks also to some of the speakers on this platform who, referring to the delegates from the Orient, have told you that these men from far off nation will claim the owner of bearing to different land. The idea of toleration. I'm proud to belong to a religion which has sheltered the persecuted and the refugees of all religion and all nations of the earth. I'm proud to belong to a nation which has sheltered the persecuted and the refugees of all religion and all nations of the earth. belong to religion which has sheltered and is still fostering the remnant of the grand Zoroastrian nation. I will quote to you, Britain, a few line from a hymn which I remember to have repeated from my earliest book, which is every day repeated by millions of human beings. As the different sources, having the sources in different places, all mangle the water in the sea. So, oh Lord, the different paths which may take to different dances, where is the third? Crooked or straight, all lead to thee. The present convention, which is one of the most august assemblies ever held, is a soft vindication, a declaration to the world of the wonderful doctrine preached in the Gita. Whosoever comes to me, to whosoever form, I reach him. All men are struggling to far, which in the end lead to me. Sectarianism, bigotry, and its horrible descendant, fanatism, have long possessed this beautiful world. They have filled the earth with violence, dredged often and often with human blood, destroyed civilization, and sent whole nation to despair. Had it not been for these horrible zealots, human society would be far more advanced than it is now. But their time is gone. 